Welcome to our chemistry practical session. And we are here in Skills Path Networks to resolve the challenge appear, appearing in our chemistry, our physics, our biology practicals, and the other laboratories techniques. We are here for chemistry practical has a said but today we are going to see the double indicator titration. That is the second session for double indicator. So to get the, the first session or the first class of our chemistry practical in case of double indicator, you're supposed to subscribe or I beg you to subscribe there. Then you will get the lesson on previous and there is more, more experiment performed within this channel. So for today we are going to, to talk or to learn more the double indicator about the mixture of sodium carbonate and the mixture of sodium hydrogen carbonate or sodium bicarbonate. And here we are using double indicator mostly used for advanced level and there is a challenge of solving these questions. So we are going to use the Northland indicator, which is POP, POP, and the methyl orange, which is methyl orange, which is MO, and the phenolphthalein indicator, which is POP, that is in short. So firstly, we know that when you meet the mixture question like this one, we are supposed to know the solution which is going to be above within the burette and it's going to be in conical flask. So we have the burette here, it means the burette like this one, that is the brown. Then here we are going to have the conical flask. The conical flask. It means this is burette. This is a burette and this is a conical, conical flask. So when you meet the mixture, it means the mixture so solution will be at here. The mixture will be in conical flask. It means our mixture is sodium carbonate and the sodium hydrogen. Carbonate. So this solution will be at the bottom of your little stand. And the debut means there is the mixture which is hydrochloric acid under the burette. So that is the situation of performing this practical double indicator. Then after this one, let's see we go which indicator is going to start on titration after performing the standardization you are going to to make a titration it means the first indicator you are supposed to use phenolphthalein indicator why we start with that one because we want to give the chance of methyl orange to be used in order to complete our reactions it means when you use methyl methyl orange is going to complete the, the reaction it means we start with the phenolphthalein indicator in order to give intermediate sodium bicarbonate from the sodium carbonate in order to give the chance of, of methyl orange to, to be used on titration that will complete our double indicator. So we start, we start with POP. In order to make the first titration. And the color change, the color, the color change will be from pink, pink to colorless. colorless. Our color will change from when we use POP or phenolphthalein indicator, we use, we get pink to colorless. That is the color change. 
Then after, without discarding or without pouring the solution from this first titration, we are going to add methyl orange. Then we add methyl orange on that the, on that solution. Then the color change. Color change. We are going to see. It means from. It's going to change from. Yeah, from orange, from colors to orange. That is our the second titration by using methyl orange. So after this one, we are supposed to know the reactions. That is very important on that on this double indicator question. Let's see we see the reaction. The reaction we remember that we have two compounds mixed on one solution. It means the first reaction we are going to use sodium carbonate. On the first titration, it means we use sodium carbonate plus hydrochloric acid is going to react with this one. Then under POP, which was the first indicator, it means we are going to get intermediate. intermediate weak base which will be going to be supported by methyl orange that is one and the second reaction after adding methyl orange is this one is this one the second is because this one we are going to react sodium hydrogen carbonate plus hydrochloric acid or react with hydrochloric acid then you get sodium chloride plus water plus carbon dioxide. This is base liquid, this is aqueous solution, this is aqueous solution and this, this is aqueous. That is the second reaction. That is in reaction. But this one should be completed. The first reaction should be completed. So in reality, we have, it, is, it seems that we have two questions, but in reality, we're supposed to have three questions. It means the three questions will be from here, which Intermediate sodium carbonate remain from the first titration, it means should be completed by methyl orange. It means this one will be joined with this one. So it means it's, it seems that we have two question reactions, but I want to show you the, where the third reaction comes. It means in order to complete this one, the rest which was remaining before this one you're supposed to complete it means the reaction will be three it means the second is this one sodium carbonate react with hydrochloric acid you're going to get sodium chloride plus water, plus carbon dioxide. That is the second question. The third, this one. But this one was intermediate. It means this return back to be completed under the second reaction. But the third, the same, which was mixed originally. Hydrogen component plus acid, then plus sodium chloride, you get 
water, water and carbon dioxide. That is the third reactions. This is under POP, but this one, this one is going to be completed by methyl orange and this one methyl orange. That is our reactions. After that one, you are supposed to know which volume used to neutralize this one and which volume on how much the volume consumed to neutralize sodium bicarbonate. Let's see to know that volume. So by considering the reactions, it means we know that POP used for this is this reaction comes from the first reactions. It means this is an POP, this is an MO, and this reacted under the methyl orange. So in order to get the titration, the volume of adrochloric acid used to neutralize all sodium carbonate. It means this reaction reacted in twice. It means the volume used to, to react on this one is the same the volume to react on this the second reaction to complete neutralization reaction of sodium carbonate. So it means to get the volume with shallow for, for this one it means we are going to get the average average volume of H0 under H0 under POP we are going to times it times it 2 that is a way on how can you get the volume used of H0 under, under phenolphthalein indicator because it reacted in twice and the original mixed the sodium hydrogen carbonate used the HCL and methyl orange. It means in order to get the volume of hydrochloric acid to neutralize sodium hydrogen carbonate, it means we take average volume volume of HCL under under MO minus under under. POP. Let's see you understand by using example. We use example. The first example, under the first iteration, the volume of titration of hydrochloric acid was 10. Was 10.2 volume that is one but under the addition of methyl orange the volume was get, got it or oh, we have got 5.2 15.2 so i ask the question which volume of adrochloric acid used to neutralize sodium carbonate and the sodium hydrogen carbonate it means in order to get the sodium carbonate, the volume of sodium carbonate or the volume of hydrochloric acid to neutralize sodium carbonate, it means we take this one times two. That is, it means the volume of which zero for sodium carbonate will be this term this one. It means 20 will be 20, 24. That is the volume we see under sodium because it reacted twice and this in two moles twice. So to get it for this one, it means we take the average under POP. It means we take this one 
we take 15.2, which uses the endomethyl orange minus this one, and the POP minus 10.2. It means volume of which cell for sodium hydrogen carbonate is equal to this minus this one, it means it will be 5.0. So, I think you see, you have seen, at the, on titration, the methyl orange used the, it is seen that use it to consume a large amount of white chloric acid, but under the mixture, to neutralize, it is used the lower than for methyl orange. So, this consume a lower hydrochloric acid and this one, because react in twice reactions, it used the more hydrochloric acid to, to be neutralized. I think for this session, you have understand on how to calculate the volume of hydrochloric acid and the whole titration of this double indicator. This is the second session. On the previous, I have said we have taught sodium carbonate and sodium hydroxide, and the last we have we remain with the three the session the or the third session we are going to teach later so be together here in skills path networks to watch more more practicals and to resolve this challenge within practicals and to be more experienced to make our students to perform very very excellent i think we end up here we will meet you on another class or session. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe our channel, Seek Squeeze Path Matrix, and uh, we will more understand. Thank you.